to, well, May is National Stroke Awareness Month, and we know uh, many of you have dealt with this. We have loved ones who have. And Dr. Jay Sharma is with us today. He's an interventional neurologist at Brookwood medical center here to talk about this with us today just the reminders uh, dr jay good morning oh good morning it's good to see you yeah. uh, thanks for having me we do talk about uh, the symptoms of a stroke a lot and we've talked about it for years but it seems like it is one thing that we do forget that we really can help ourselves if we get help early right that's a very good question because to me uh, i see with my patients all the time they they say that they are feeling weak on right side having a speech problem and they stay home. And they come to me two days later, and it's too late for us. Uh, stroke, so you could have yes. stopped what was progressing yeah. if they'd come so earlier. So in, in our world, we say time is brain. So mm -hmm. if someone is having a stroke, that means they are not getting enough blood flow to the brain. Mm. And if they come to ER on time, we can save that life. Mm -hmm. We can save those brain cells. And that's why we always say call 911 and come to the hospital right away. You got into wanting to be this kind of physician yeah. because of something you saw early on in your life, right? Yes. Uh, so I was in my medical training and I saw this young girl in 40s and she came to us with uh, stroke-like symptoms of right-sided weakness, speech problems. And we were able to save that life and that led me to do mm. what I do today. So. And, uh, and 40 is young oh, yes. for, for something so like that. Absolutely right. And nowadays we are seeing younger patients uh, mm -hmm. who are coming to us with stroke-like symptoms because of high blood pressure issues, diabetes that starts early. All right. Well, let's, that leads us into the, yep. they said other, there are uncontrolled risk factors uh, related to stroke. So one out of five who have a stroke are 55, and chances are the increase as you get older. Race plays a role in that too, doesn't yes, it? Yes, that's, that's absolutely true. We have done studies where we looked at age age, race, other risk factors. As we discussed, age plays a role, same way as the race. African-American population has a little bit higher risk of stroke, and then Hispanic, and then Asian. So these are the races that play somehow a role in having more incidence of stroke. You mentioned some of the things that people, uh, some of the symptoms, uh, but let's look at those again. Uh, difficulty walking, yeah. uh, vision problems. Now. You might not think that's related to a stroke. Yes. You may think your eyes are just, what kind of vision problems are you talking about? So yeah, so vision problems is sometime if you are noticing acute onset, that means all of a sudden you have double vision. So okay. you are seeing two, or you are you're not able to see one side of the- So uh, it would be extreme. Extreme, yeah. So then we know those are signs of stroke. Mm -hmm. And as I always say, you have to come to ER right away. Because what I'm seeing in the community is people don't mm -hmm. come to the hospital. And my recommendation is if you want to save that brain, save that Live, call 911 and come to the hospital. There's a three hour window. Three right. hour window. So nowadays we have different type of treatments, but if someone can come within that three hour window, we can start the clot buster medication and save that life. We are also extending treatment now up to 24 hours mm -hmm. based on newer studies. So as an interventionist at Brookwood, we can help you up to 24 hours if someone is having stroke-like symptoms. All right, it's uh, just don't take it take it seriously yeah. and don't think you're overreacting Absolutely uh, by right. calling and getting it checked. Yeah. Dr. Jay Sharma from Brookwood, thank you. Oh, thanks for having